You need to loosen up, Ashy baby. What the hell did I just say? No kidding, it was like the size of a baseball bat. I was shocked. I was like, what? Oh, it's just awful what happened to that boy and his family. Oh, girl, I don't know if you should be telling us this. What do you mean? What happened? Miss Myers was spilling the tea how she went to the grocery store and she got that extra big cucumber. Smacking her on the face. I guess in less exciting tea, our girl and Asher are, they're on friend terms. I mean, close to friend terms, I suppose. So let's see how the rest of this school day goes. But of course, go follow the amazing author Eve's Go Reader Stories. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's start the drama. So this is where the last chapter ended. This little guy, Mr. Cartwell, on the right side, he was one of the people chasing Asher in the alleyway. That's right. I just need to hop in the office real quick to get some papers. Oh, by all means. I'm a patient man. I appreciate it. Don't tell me he's also one of those little, uh, the little fantasy boys. With the little, like, Apollo name, like the little, what was it, the, the Greek? Is the Greek gods? Are they going by the Greek god names, like Apollo and stuff? I think that one's Greek. I could be wrong. Why is he looking this way? Uh, this is making me lose my mind. I can't stay here. Does he know? I don't, mm, something, he, mm, ooh, like, I don't know. I don't like that man. He's, he's giving creepy vibes, and the fact he was trying to chase... Asher down the alley. Well, he didn't know it was Asher. It was Well, maybe he does know it was Asher. I don't know. Well, it's good to see him socializing again. This is where Miss Myers was going to spill the tea. What do you mean? What happened? Now, Miss Myers, spill that tea, honey. Oh, dear. It's still so difficult to talk about. She's a gossip. She's a gossip queen. A few years ago, Miss Myers. Oh. Oh. Uh, Principal Simmons, to what do we owe the unpleasure? Um, that's the principal, huh, principal? We are in the middle of a very important conversation. Go back with your little hitman guy over there. It's fine, don't talk to us. It was my first time seeing him. Good morning, principal. It's nice to meet you. I'm a new student. My name is Daria Cadman. Nice to meet you as well, Daria. Welcome to Centennial High. And Miss Myers, yes. I don't think this is the appropriate setting to be gossiping with students, is it? It is definitely the appropriate setting. We are in the front office. We're not in the classroom. Let's, let's gossip. Oh, this is so awkward. I'm going to stick up for Miss Myers. Actually, principal, it's because I had asked Miss Myers about something. That doesn't matter, Daria. There's a time and place for everything. I'm sick enough for her. That's right. I apologize. Hold tight, Daria. I'll be back with your ID. Um... Damn, I didn't mean for Miss Myers to get in trouble. I feel so bad for Miss Myers. But she's a gossip queen, so it's kind of like, um, you bring it upon yourself if you gossip 24-7. And that's okay. You know Miss Myers is going to bounce back real quick. And we have her back. We're not letting her go down. I couldn't help but wonder what she was about to tell me, though. Same. Something had happened to Asher's family. Something bad. Bad that it was still hard for her to talk about. Maybe that would explain why Asher was the way he was. But you know what? Maybe... It's for the best. We didn't find out there. We should probably hear it from Asher himself when he's comfortable to talk about it instead of gossiping about it, even though we went out of the tea so badly. Okay, it's all done. So Asher, huh? Where did Asher go? He said he would wait. Crap. He has class already started. Well, we were in the front office, so I hope you guys have all started your movie study projects in some way. At least try to pick a movie by the end of the week. I posted some suggestions for you online. Miss Plank, Plank, can I just not do it? Yes, if you want a zero. Also, guys, please don't choose any R-rated movies. You guys realize I have to watch them too. There goes my plan. We know that you're secretly into that stuff, Miss Plank. <laughs> but... Eh, but... Uh, I feel like there's so many good R-rated movies. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a super scary, gory horror movie or some like super sensual movie. I it could, some, There's a lot of good R-rated movies that you could probably write a paper on, please. They're not wrong. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We will actually be having a special guest speaking with us today. Don't tell me it's that garbage man. Oh, I think they're here now. Oh, no, it's just us. Sorry I'm late. The new girl's our special guest. 
don't make me come for you. Don't make me come for you. <laughs> Just don't make me. Guys, please, Daria, go take your seat. My bad. We came at the wrong time. Well, hello. Way to make an entrance. You said you were going to wait. Save yourself the effort of lying next time. I didn't. What? You found your way here. Everything turned out fine. And to be fair, he had to get to class on time. So that's not the point. You said you were going to wait. So obviously I was expecting you to. If you hadn't said that, I wouldn't have expected it. I, oh, here he is. Please, Ugh, Mr. Carwell. Ew. I don't like him. He gives me the creeps. Even though we don't know exactly what's going on with him. We can kind of infer, infer a few little things. And I don't know, something about him. I just don't, I, you know when you get bad vibes? I get bad vibes from him. Good morning, everyone. Guys, this is Sam Carter. Well, he's a renowned movie producer. If he's a renowned movie producer, what is he doing over here betting in some underground fight rink and then having crying his tears that he lost? You think he like, okay, he lost his money. If he's some renowned movie producer, I'm sure he can make it back. Or has reserves and first off if you bet that much money that it's gonna tank you um you shouldn't be betting that much money in the first place he's worked on movies like the textbook and the steel man series wait isn't that yes we all know it's that creep he an unsettling feeling crept through my bones i recognized him right away it was one of those guys from that night the ones who were chasing the masked man <laughs> okay yeah sure right there i think he went this way come on he was so salty, and if I was being honest, I was more scared of them than the one who had cornered me, because they they were out for blood that night. He stood in front of the classroom, staring at us each one by one. I'll stare right back at you. Yeah. Until his eyes land on Astronaut's table. Was I imagining it, or had he stared at us for one second too long to be considered a sweeping look? It's very nice. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, too. I'm looking right in your eyes. <laughs> I will look right in your eyes. Try us, Mr. Cartwell. We've dealt with you in other stories before. People just like you. We have dealt with many of you. Don't. Just another one to add to the list. Mr. Cartwell is here to talk to us about movies and all the work that goes into them. That's right. Why don't you talk about losing your money? How about that? <laughs> Something that directors like to utilize in a lot of my films is called the off-frame or off-space. It's the things outside the frame, the things you don't see. Directors use it a lot to keep stuff hidden, like your activities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of secrets you guys don't see when watching a movie. Oh, there is. It's just like people. Uh -huh. There's a lot of things we keep in our off-space. Exactly, Mr. Cartwell. A lot of secrets we hide. And what's the purpose of hiding it? To maintain an image, because usually those things in the off-frame are things you don't want people seeing. If you are so self-aware of this situation, then why do you do it? <laughs> then why are you doing these things, Mr. Carwell? Mm. Hell. I'm so conf- The thing I'm confused about is like, I'll see you later. Yeah. Is- Why are these- I guess we don't know the full backstory of the Fight Club and all that goes into it, though, so I shouldn't probably be speaking too early. But to me, it was like the Black Skull versus the Masquerade. The Black Skull won. Asher got his money. And these losers bet on the wrong person and lost a bunch of money off of it. And so now they're going to go try to jump the Black Skull because they're mad that they bet wrong. That's what I gathered from it. But maybe there's more to it, especially with this weird little secret society stuff like that that was one of the most suffocating glasses ever why was i nervous though he didn't even see my face or anything no but if he's part of that society then he knows you live next door to asher uh, all this overthinking is going to be the death of me i'm still confused though why they were also casing our care like our girl daria's place and everything it's like what do we have to do with any of this <laughs> yo ash yeah hey i was trying to talk to you uh-oh. Uh-oh, Rio's causing a scene. Are you a track star or something? Why the hell are you always running from me? Uh-oh. This is not the time, man. Damn, chill out. What's wrong? You're stress smoking again. Someone. Some guys chased me down the night after my fight. They bet on my opponent, but he lost. I guess they were upset. Did they catch you? Obviously they didn't. Dude, they wanted to kill me. Which is kind of like, wow, like... 
what, like, where does this make sense? Because you just know these men are going to get caught. Why do you think you can go be running around doing that? You bet you lost. Own up to it. You lost your money. You bet wrong. Boo hoo. And he's Mr. Renowned Movie Producer. I, I'm sure he can make some a big buck on his next film he's doing or whatever. So why is he doing all this? Because all that's going to happen is it's going to come back. He's going to try to do some shit. He's going to get caught and he's going to get thrown in jail and then his life is ruined. It's like people just don't think. Okay, so you got away. What's the problem now? He's here. That's the problem. One of them is here. Really? Where? He's literally not right here. I mean, they're here at the school. He gave a lecture to our class and you were paranoid he was going to recognize you. I think he kind of did. Because he, his eyes were lingering. You were wearing your mask during the fight, right? Yeah. And your tattoos were covered. So how the hell would he recognize you? I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried. Clearly you are. Look, I see you sweating on your forehead. That's because it's hot. Well, I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> Loosen up, man. Don't worry about this. I think Asher is right to worry. I didn't have to know that. I think he has a right to worry, especially because... Why are you smoking on school grounds, kid? <gasps> Who are you? Uh-oh. Don't tell me. Just a concerned adult. Oh, he's so creepy. Ew. I don't think you should be doing that. And I don't think you should be running around chasing teenagers because you lost the bet and you can't own up to that and just go make some more money. Are you broke, Mr. Carwell? What's the tea? Not such a renowned movie producer. Is like, really? I don't know. Why is it any of your business? I'm just trying to help you out. Why are you stalking us? And some advice, don't get too used to doing things you shouldn't be doing, kid. Or you might regret it. Oh, is that a threat? Who the hell are you to give me advice? You don't know me. Respectfully. Oh, but he does. I He knows. I think he knows. I know more than you think, kid. Yeah. Yeah, he knows. He knows. I think it's the scar. I think the scar gave it away. Oh, wait, can you even see the scar in his school mask? I don't really know. Hey, Lex, I forgot what the mask looks like, honestly. Oh, hey, glad to see you're still here. Hey, guess what I found out last night? You're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't find that out. <laughs> what was it then? Asher Graves is my neighbor. Really? It must be a quiet neighborhood then. I've heard that kid say like three words. He's a quiet type, huh? That's an understatement. I actually thought he was mute for the first few months after I met him. Well, actually, he took me to the convenience store in our neighborhood and we chatted for a bit. It wasn't bad. That's a surprise. Do you know why he's like that? Not really. I moved here just two years ago, so I don't really know much about anyone, much less about Asher. Okay, Cody was looking for you this morning, by the way. Cody? Who's that? Oh, right, you probably don't know him. Cody Evans. He's Kiara's twin brother. He's the one on the football team, but I don't know if I've ever seen him play. He's kind of an airhead, but he's a social one. He thinks he's friends with everyone, but I'm not really sure everyone reciprocates the feeling. He probably doesn't care, though. He, uh, why was he looking for me? I don't know. You're quite the hot topic, to be honest. Me? Yes, you. A lot of people were talking about you after school yesterday. I heard Rio say you're the best student to grace the school since himself. Oh my gosh. Rio. By the way, are you busy Friday night? I don't think so. Why? You want to come over to my place? My brother's having some of his friends over and they're always annoying as hell. I could use someone to talk to. Of course, girl, we will be there. Just send me your address. Damn, why is the new girl kind of, hey, back off, I saw her first. No, I did. Excuse me? But we're just walking down the hallway. Sorry, babe. Yeah. Yeah, you deserve that. You definitely deserve that. Hey, don't touch us. I've held a strong force foot hand grip tightly in my arm. I flinched from the pain and turned to see who the hand belonged to. You? What do you want? Don't tell me it is one of the disgusting men. Mm. Gross.